okay so today's topic is m previously we have completed rpm rpm is red hat package manager uh, there are some drawbacks uh, uh, with rpm what are those drawbacks are first thing is if you want to install a package you need to install it locally locally means uh, where your software uh, package is there there you need to go there you need to install it that means suppose your package is uh, is in this for this uh, directory you must install by going here okay you must go to there there then only it will install otherwise it doesn't install okay there's a first disadvantage with rpm second disadvantage is uh, if you want to install a, a package using rpm you must know the you must aware of the information about the package you must know the dependencies okay then only you can install it if you don't know about dependencies that may be some difficult to install the package there is a second one and third one uh, every time if you want to use rpm uh, to install a package uh, you must uh, have all the packages locally that means you must have the software dumps on your uh, system only so uh, so if, if on every system suppose if the dump is of uh, some 100 gb if the software dumps uh, let us consider some D gb suppose some 100 gb dump of softwares are there so every on every server you must uh, have that much space uh, allocated to the packages only okay so if you are having some thousand servers on every server uh, if you if your packages are of uh, 10 gb 10 gb into 1000 okay 10000 gb will be wasted overall for a for a project for an environment okay so uh, that means a lot of uh, data uh, sorry lot of disk uh, space you, you require okay you, you must have all uh, all these packages and on your system locally okay in that case uh, on every system you require a certain dedicated uh, space to these packages only uh, so that is another disadvantage okay so uh, then uh, because of these reasons th there is one more uh, utility there is one more uh, tool we use that is m yellow dog updater modified okay that that uh, using that m you can overcome all these uh, disadvantages in rpm okay m is uh, very convenient to use uh, rpm one more disadvantage of rpm is it, it will support command line interface only okay and it will install the packages with the uh, dot rpm only okay so whereas m if you use m uh, it will it will support uh, remote installations also okay and also uh, no need of uh, packages locally okay uh, if you kept all the packages in a server that is called m server you can get that package uh, while installing from that server using uh, ftp or uh, some other protocols other file transfers okay or you can directly download a package from the web also okay website website of uh, red hat also okay that is the advantage of m and one more advantage of m is uh, you don't uh, need of knowledge of dependencies of a package okay no need to know the dependencies for a particular package it will take care of uh, dependencies everything okay that is the advantage of m and also m supports uh, command line interface as well as graphical user interface also okay uh, because of that advantage m is uh, most popular and widely used okay of course even though m is uh, very handy uh, you don't uh, uh, check uh, this uh, rpm because uh, uh, it is having some advantages okay you can easily query whether a package is uh, installed or not uh, okay it is uh, clean that's why rpm is also used okay so we'll see how to configure a m okay so uh, the advantage of m over rpm is first thing 
no need of installation installing it locally second one is we can save the disk space how we can save the disk space disk space means if you use rpm you must have the software package dump in your system locally if you use m no need of uh, installation uh, no need of uh, copying all the packages in your system locally uh, you can connect uh, connect to a server which is called m server from that you can uh, simply simply install install uh, it on your server okay i will show you how to do that okay you can save that so that you can save the disk space okay here you can use the cli as well as the command line interface as well as gui graphical user interface also okay and also no need of uh, knowledge uh, uh, no need to have the knowledge on dependencies of your package m will take care of everything okay the support that's about uh, M. We'll see how to do that M. We can configure M in different ways. Okay. Oh, we can configure M locally. You can configure M uh, using FTP. You can configure uh, M uh, using satellite server also. Okay. I'll tell you one by one. First of all, I will show you how to configure M locally. And that means if you're having packages on your server, uh, just uh, using M, how to, how to get the packages on your server. Okay. I, I will show you one by one okay first uh, you know uh, you uh, to to do uh, uh, this uh, configuration of m you must have the packages uh, uh, locally on your system for the first type of uh, m configuration but before going to that first uh, the configuration file for m m is yum m is where it will means cd slash etc sorry your configuration file for m is slash etc m dot conf this is the configuration file you can change the settings that is configuration of uh, your m in this file only we'll see that later okay so to configure m You must have a file called repo file dot repo file there you can give uh, the information about the where you, where we are having packages uh, everything about so for that go to slash etc m dot repos dot here in this directory you are having all your repo files you will understand what is a repo file is Okay, these are some of the repo files that uh, came with uh, system uh, this uh, OS installation. By default, those are there. Okay, now to configure M, what you need to do is you must you must have a uh, you must uh, create a repo file. So how to create a repo file is simple uh, by using vi command create a repo file in in this directory which directory is slash etc m dot repo start in this directory create a repo file so i'm creating a repo file a dot repo file so uh, i'm giving some name to this uh, repo file uh, some basic installations that's why i'm giving it as basic dot repo whatever uh, here it is the name of the repo file okay whatever you want to give here you the file name and but the um, extension must be dot repo clear okay so if you do that you will get a empty file like this okay uh, before uh, creating this file just uh, i will show you already existing files there there then only you you will understand something okay suppose uh, open this file package kit dot media this one or rhl source dot repo file I'm opening this file using RHL using cat. Okay, look here. Like this, of course, uh, there are multiple entries. So only observe this one. No need of this one. Okay, here the first entry in the file is this one. Short name of your repo file. Okay, here the file name is uh, this one RHL iPhone uh, source. Now you need to give like this here second one is name okay name of your uh, packages okay 
red hat enterprises linux uh, release ever uh, something 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 like this okay of course it was uh, configured using ftp i'll tell you one by one okay so third entry is base url so here you need to give the location of packages where you want to get the packages you need to give the complete path so if it is locally uh, you you want to access locally locally means in this system only you are having packages here now these packages are in rhl6 uh, this this in rhl6 you are having all these packages okay so here you need to mention here file colon slash 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 rhl6 slash uh, okay just enough rhl6 okay you need to give path of uh, that uh, that packages here because it is locally in in this system only you are having the packages if it, if if you want to access it remotely that means your packages are having in some other server that means some m server is there there you are having packages then you can access that like this ftp colon slash slash only two slash here ftp dot uh, sorry ftp uh, and slash pub slash the location of the uh packages in that server okay I, I i will show you that the thing okay next third entry this this second entry is completely about address address of the path where you want to access access these files all the software dumps software packages okay in base url you must specify that you will understand uh, after doing this next enabled what this enabled means is if you enable uh, zero there are two options for this one if you use zero you, you can use one also if you use one year this repo file will be enabled whenever you you, ex you execute m command then that m will take the input from this one it check uh, which whether it is enabled so if it is one then it will take the path from here if it is zero it doesn't take the path from here uh, packages from here so here it is given zero so even if you execute m but it will it doesn't consider this thing okay you understand what i mean so this 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 is for to enable this repo file this uh, dumps okay you can have uh, different types of uh, software uh, packages available some for db some for uh, original os os packages some for other softwares so for everything you can create every uh, different repo files okay so every time if, even though if, if you create repo file m doesn't take it if you if you give enable equal to 1 only then it will take that that path if you don't give enable equal to 1 here if it is zero so m doesn't uh, take this path okay m doesn't go with the path here okay next gpg check 1 means it it will uh, check the signature of the packages whether it is rhl uh, uh, red hat uh, uh, you know red hat website is rhn network okay uh, so if you give this red hat uh, gpg check equal to one then it will check uh, on the website okay red hat website okay if it is zero it doesn't check the signature that means it, it will check the key okay it will check the key for every software so to to activate that if you want to give it to year one you must have the red hat subscription if you don't have the subscription it doesn't allow you it doesn't install you so for satellite methods you will use one here in general signature okay if you are having a license then only better you will keep one here okay these are the five entries you must remember of course this last one is key if you are having the red hat key original uh, licensed version you will keep the key here then every time if you were installing a package it will check the key here okay of course this is not uh, uh, required for us you now for, for this practice session these five entries are must i think you understood what i mean okay now we are creating our own uh, repo file that is this thing okay now check it first entry is uh, you must give that in square brackets so i am giving the name for this one is so already i have given that basic na basic uh, some basic okay 
you, you can give whatever name you want to that is short name of your pronoun next second one is name name equal to so here uh, what i am giving is uh, red hat uh, what uh, you can uh, you can write whatever you want here uh, but to give the information what is this package about okay uh, so i'm writing like this red hat uh, linux uh, enterprise sorry enterprise linux what what are maybe uh, i'm giving something here enterprise linux version 6 something you can write like that okay 6 or uh, 6.5 okay next this is important base url is equal to where i kept my packages i kept my packages in uh, in a folder in a directory slash rhl6 so for that how you need to give here it is i am having my softwares locally so for that you need to give the entries like this file okay you must uh, remember this one file colon slash 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 three times slash okay file colon slash 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 and it is in slash rhl6 okay so that's it this is the address i'm doing it locally now that's why i i'm giving it like suppose if i use ftp by default the ftp folder is where ftp pub there you will give instead of file you you need to give it here like ftp colon two slashes where slash ftp pub and uh, if you're having one more directory in that pub uh, like rhl6 you need to give that thing okay just this is the info all the packages are in rhl6 Pre uh, yesterday we have done that all the packages uh, from cd dvd are copied to this one this rhl6 folder okay that's the third entry next uh, fourth entry is enabled so here here i am enabling this package so i am giving one this repo file i am i am enabling this repo file that's why i am giving one gpg check gpg check so i am giving it zero because i don't have license key okay these five entries are must okay once again first one is short name of your repo file second one is uh, name of that packages you are using here i am using every os packages now that's why i have given like this base url this is the address of your uh, packages where you are having the all the packages in in which directory i have uh, i am having all the packages locally locally means in in my system only in this system where i am working okay so it is in slash rhl6 okay so for that i need to give like this syntax file base url url equal to file colon slash 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 rhl6 enabled equal to one because i want to enable this repo file enabled equal to one gp check equal zero i don't have any signature any license key that's why i'm giving zero okay now you need to save it escape shift colon wq i'm sorry shift colon wq now it was saved okay after that we have configured we have configured a repo file for m okay now after doing that you must clean the catchy of your m uh, catchy for that you need to execute a command m clean all m clean all so what it will do is it will refresh the package kit it will clean up everything okay look here so after configuring repo file you must do this m clean all then only it will clean the cache and update everything okay cleaning up everything so to check what are the packages we are having just give m okay m uh, list all whether it was configured or not if you give like this m list all then if it is properly configured then it will give the output 
think error uh, i haven't configured it properly I think so product id refreshment subscription man this system is not registered to red hat okay no problem mr file uh, could not open read write file my system structure okay uh, error is cannot retrieve repository metadata for repository basic uh, i think i will we'll verify its path just check it uh -huh. instead of pause i use this stop now stopped it recording okay